10 on your side is your local election headquarters 26 days until election day and candidates are spending money on campaign ads signs and fundraisers but do you know what exactly your money can be used for when you donate one candidate is justifying his expense to take his family to Bush Gardens. Ten on your side's Brett Hall is following the funds. Stephanie Regina, we talk a lot about who is giving money in this segment, but don't always talk about where that money is going and where it's allowed to go. A candidate running for Virginia Beach mayor is showcasing when it comes to campaign finance in Virginia, the sky can be the limit. In Virginia Beach this year, it's a crowded race to be the city's next mayor. Four candidates are challenging current mayor Bobby Dyer. According to the Virginia Public Access Project, in the months of July and August, the five spent roughly $82,000 combined to get out their message. However, in only one of those reports did we find money spent on an attraction outside of the city. <laughs> Councilman Chris Taylor visited Bush Gardens Williamsburg several times, charging more than $300 to his campaign account. Classifying it all? as advertising. What I did as a millennial, young, not someone that's been running the same campaign, was we ordered baseball jerseys and uniforms that said Chris Taylor on the front 24 for mayor. And so advertising, I went there uh, to advertise, to campaign, and picked up at least 50 to 75 votes by wearing my Chris Taylor jersey. He says on several occasions, his family was decked out in the gear as well. Their tickets also covered by the campaign. So my wife does all my event planning. Uh, we have pictures of all of our events and where we go. The kids are in CT for VB hats, so we are working. Dr. Ben Malusi with Old Dominion University says, under Virginia law, this is not illegal. When we look at Virginia's campaign finance laws and then the expenditure laws that we have in the states, they are fairly loose. Uh, they're not very detailed and thus it leaves a lot of latitude for the candidates uh, and their committees in terms of where they're soliciting the money from and ultimately how they spend it. Through the years, the state has seen other candidates expense pricey meals, high-end hotel stays, and more. Every time state lawmakers attempt to tighten the rules, the effort fails. So voters themselves uh, need to be the ones to, one, either discern that information. Or two, be loud enough to demand a change. Now, in the interest of transparency, we must tell you that we have seen those photos that Councilman Taylor was talking about with he and his kids at Bush Gardens. However, Taylor did not follow our company's procedures that allow us to use images taken independently. We also want to let you know that you can hear more from Councilman Taylor as well as all the other candidates for Virginia Beach Mayor right now over on wavy.com under our candidate profile section. Just search the local election headquarters. Brett Hall, Ted on your side.